Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I finally leave this place and possibly go and die horrible, awful, awful, bad, 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 super bad death. We're playing Pillars of Eternity 2 Dead Fire. And we're leaving. We are leaving the town. We are waddling our way through. Waddle, 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 waddle. And... Leave town on foot. Okay. Let's see what happens. Because I have no idea. I'm assuming we're going to go to like the world overview map and then we'll be able to maneuver to different places. Maybe some more have been unlocked. I'm doubting that. It looks like all paths lead to the giant's path. So, yeah, that's that's my guess. Villario's Rest, I believe, is where we landed. Okay, there's some trade to be had there and then Gwithin Dig Site. I think I will probably... Deadfire Merchant. Unaffiliated. I will probably actually head back down here. That's going to be my move. I wonder if there's any, like, roaming bands of, like, terrible, awful things. Probably. I think there's a few things I might have missed early on. I don't think I ever talked to the bust, the thing that was part of the throne in the last game. Uh, after, like, the initial storyline thing, I was eager to get out and get started. I know we've gathered and collected a lot of our people back here, so... Of course. <laughs> There is a possibility that maybe they have something to say. The bust is right here. So we're going to go and talk to that. Okay. Maybe like... time to wrangle a boar before the weakness of hunger sets in. Okay, so this is the one thing that we had not done. truly necessary? I made, we hired them at some I'm expense, you realize. I'm than they are mean. Uh, Until the Defiant is seaworthy, I suppose you'd better try and track down that giant, dear. Okay. Well, there's nothing really to do to talk Real with, quiet. to do, or what have you here. Until the Defiant is seaworthy, mm. I suppose you can Dead guy. track down that giant, dear. Hey, hey I'm, I'm see-through. See That's nice. Uh, Arena, anything else to say to us? I'll keep the campfire burning. Eld Good Ingram. news, Captain. I found some supplies must have washed ashore. Nice. Even better. I've located some spirits. The mundane kind, I mean. Yeah. Nothing that requires your talents, Watcher. His eyes twitch and twinkle in delight. Have you seen any other survivors? Not a one. We've come away from this one limping, Captain. But we live to see the next battle through. What do you think we should do now? It's just the lot of us now, Captain. You'd best head into town, see about supplies and repairs. Really? I'll keep an eye on the ship. Okay, and uh, do you know anything about the island? Keth live here. I can that much. Means we're a sight better off than we could be. Of uh -huh. course, it's surely pirate territory. They have a number of bolt holes out this way. I'd nay be surprised if that cave up north is one of them. Could be they lie in wait for us even as we speak. Fair enough. Vela, anything? We're gonna be okay. They warned me strange Nothing. things would come following you, Watcher. How about you? Agrasima casita for taking. Okay, so nothing else to do there. I guess we'll go stop at the rice farm and trade, I guess, is the thing that we're gonna do. <sighs> and hopefully everything goes well. There is no guarantee of that happening. There's also nothing that says that it won't happen either. Alright. And that's literally it, huh? Some rice and other stuff. Except that. Except that. And, I don't know, maybe 10. It's trying to get some supplies, like get prepared. What is that thing? Oh, that's a bomb. Get prepared for, you know, whatever's to come down the line. If at all possible. I mean, I don't necessarily think it is possible, but maybe. Maybe. We got two of those, two of those. 
That's fine. Okay, we're not doing super well on money, but we're also not crippled. So it's time to go to the Nguithin dig site and see what the deal is. Oh, daily wage is very small. What if we could have bypassed that, or if it like pulls us in automatically? I, I mean, I walked right to it. I clicked on it, so I don't know, but maybe it would have been possible to go past it and loot some berries and other random things. I don't know. Either way, all the signs point to the Nguithin ruins, and that's where we're at, so... We'll see. I would like to get into some combat. A blade in the dark. A blade in the dark. Oh, cool. I'm getting some Watch random away. stuff. Shoti bends double, hands resting briefly on her knees before she wipes sweat from her brow. Hoping to catch her breath, she glances up with you, or up to you, with a big smile. You've gained an item, Copper Pyre, and the item was put into your stash. If you'll spare me a minute, I'd like to perform a last rite for these poorly departed souls. She reaches for the lantern on her hip. Please, Watcher. Without my guidance, they might have a hard time finding the light. Well, there are no departed souls here. What happens if they can't find the light? They'll be lost, never making it to hell and back. Or they'll wander and eventually find their way, lifetimes after they should have. Her jaw takes on a determined set, and she straightens, ready to work. That's supposing they ain't a follower of Aethys. What do you reckon happens to them folks in hell when the god of rebirth is deader than a doornail? Well, these people had their souls sucked out by Aethys. Uh, their corpses are just empty husks. Another god will handle the litter rebirth. I'll allow it. Is that why they're so ashy? Her nose crinkles. Well, exactly. What is this? Intellect. Aethys caused a Beowick when he passed through. So it's not just symbolism in my dreams. I saw my god walking through storms. Didn't know he created them. While I do thank you for shielding my pride, Watcher, I figure it's better to be safe than sorry. So if you don't mind, I'll just do a calling real quick. All right, I'll allow it. Mighty kind of you. You're welcome. She grins happily with two intent strides forward. She unsheathes her sickle and lantern, fluidly swinging each in a series of well-practiced movements. Chanting, whirling weapons, slicing the air, Shoti's voice, or Jyoti's voice, lilts and falls in an invocation, a summons to any departed lingering in the area. This here's a final call for all souls. Last stop for the lost. Gather round now, I'll cut you loose and haul you into the light. Swinging the lantern faster and faster, Shoti plants her thighs wide and then thrusts her arms up high overhead. The lantern rattles in her grip and the light from within flares blindingly bright. In the silence of your held breath, it almost seems like a soul should sift up from within one of the corpses, quivering in the air before siphoning into the lantern's fading brilliance. But the ashen bodies are bereft of souls, so in the end, Shoti's light fades without acquiring anything. Say nothing. It's my honored duty to reap and shepherd departed souls during their journey to being reborn. And with Aethys dead, me and the other reapers gotta gather as many souls as we can. We'll keep them safe until Gon returns to hell and can take them into his divine embrace. Uh, what do you mean? Let's rub the dirt from her cheek. A blush spreads hot beneath your thumb, and Shoti glances away. No longer able to meet your gaze, but her lips curve into a pleasant smile, or pleased smile. I'm keeping lost souls. And here. She taps the metal frame of the lantern. And that's all I care to say for now. She nods Let's before go. setting off. All right, well, whatever you say. You just try to stay clean. We're, we're representing a lot here, and if, if we have the wrong look, or if we get the wrong impression... Everything can go sideways. We need to make sure that we are good to go. Representatives of, was it the governor? I don't know exactly what we're doing, but we should stay clean, basically. We should shower often, I'm just saying. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Oh, gosh. Oh, that makes me nervous. A little less nervous. I feel like that's too small for the... The issues that we've run into already with giants. Ancient training hall. 
Oh yeah, no, that, that totally seems like a not terrible thing. Alright, we're gonna head back down this way. Oh, there's a body I missed too. Must go loot it and steal its monies. And there's another one over here. I'll see it done. I'll see it done. Alright. And last call for all recently disembodied souls. Oh, we already did the last call. Alright, well that's good. So now we just get to loot everything. And it's going to be glorious. Alright, well I guess we go down the really weird and rickety winding staircase here. There's a lot more, uh, ash people. Hmm. Okay. So many ash Absolutely people. Absolutely not. So little time. Doesn't seem to be much going. Oh, there's a young oh, boy. Look at it. Oh, 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 we haven't got to murder anything in a while. My bloodlustiness was starting to act up, so it it's good out. that we, we got that under our belts. Alright, there's stuff. Whatever Oderisi did to that last batch, it's wor it's working. And we're seeing much higher concentrations of essence in the harvested Adra. I, wish, I only wish he'd let the rest of us in on his methods. One of our Juana workers got the jolt of his life transporting one of the crates. And that's on top of the one that he got that got blinded last week. All Odorisi has to say for himself is that they were careless. I'm the one paying these islanders' families out of my own pocket. At this rate, I'm going to be the one idiot who comes out of this whole enterprise with less money than I started. S. Hmm. Intriguing, to be sure. Okay. Well, that's fine. As we slowly circle around the circle of around us and circle Ooh, there's a kitty. There was a kitty over there. This feels like a very large circular thing. Not sure I can. Okay. I think there's nothing going on in any of these places. Some uh, barals to get uh, destroyed. <laughs> and we can do that from stealth. Demon the lantern. Demon the lantern. Lots of weird Adra like ornaments and things. It's rather interesting. Well, I'm hoping to be able to upload this shortly after the last episode, and then I'm going to try to get another episode done as well. I feel like I've fallen behind where I wanted to be by this point. Well, I mean, I definitely have. But I'm not too far behind. I'm going to try to play catch-up a little bit. So, hopefully you guys are on board for that. I, I really like playing this game. I like it a whole bunch. It is pretty good. All right, Ferris, take this coin out to the Juana village and see if you can round up anyone willing to do a week's digging for pay. Try the low caste types first, the Raparu. They're used to hard work and they don't ask for more than their share, S. As the lowest class of Juana society, the Raparu are designated to work as unskilled laborers and to starve in times of scarcity. Well, that sucks. Their status is a function of survival in the often unforgiving dead fire and not a moral judgment. The Roparu are destined to be reborn into the Kua, was that Kura, Kurau, Kurau, or Mataru class in their next lives. Kurau. Yeah, so that that that's the thing that okay, sure. What's this? Ooh, Onyx. Mine. Well, it's all kind of mine. You get the idea. What's this? I don't think I can. Whoever was in here left in the middle of drinking their tea. Sure. Oh, there's a worm. 
Warning, extreme danger inside by order of o Odorisi. The training hall is off limits to exploration. All right, let's take down some wormy worms of wormitude with uh, some worminess. What? So, I don't Don't ask me complicated questions. Ready for, ready for reaping. Oh, we are lagging again, folks. It's okay. Ow! He shot a fireball in my face. I don't appreciate that. In fact, I dare say nobody appreciates that. Rape him. Rape him good. Kill them all. <laughs> Quick strong. I'll light the darkness. I'll light the darkness. Yo, eyeballs. What? I don't know. Alright, so cool. We killed some worms. Sure thing. Sure thing. There's more stuff to be done soon. Generator occasionally vibrates wildly and you can faintly hear the sound of metal grinding on metal from... Somewhere inside the machinery. Cool-ish. Cool-ish. Leave it, not a chance. Off limits, Odorisi, blah blah blah, nobody cares. Hey, there's a deserted cat. Hmm. Gosha. Oh, I gained the item. Gosha. She's now in our inventory. Uh, we should have a pet panel, right? We do, right? Only on him. Yeah, okay. Only on the main character. Is that the only pet that we have? I feel like that's not cool. Wait, what's that? Oopsie. Well, I guess so. I don't really want Gosha. What does it say? While Gosha is following you around, you receive a bonus to... Oh, perception and enemy weapon attacks are less likely to crit against your party. Well, that's cool. And thank you, Obsidian, for giving uh, pets a, a use. That's, that's pretty awesome. Good job. Well done. Much love. And all that stuff. Get an eye out. Poking an eye out. Alright. Get into position. I know there's a cat of some sort Wait, down here. Oh, there. oh, there's a whole bunch of cats down here. Alright, so these are the different ones we have. We have the cleaving stance. Better changes to a more aggressive stance after handling groups of enemies while in the stance. Melee. Okay. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. I would say that you, my dear, should probably not interdict us, but maybe bless us? I hear you. Actually, what if we do this? That's a really small area. Alright, my, my wolf is ready to go. Take on our buddy. Kill them all. Kill them all. I feel like he's getting beat down pretty badly. Hey. Actually, he's getting beat down really badly. He is not as strong as he used to be. I'm going to try to wound you. I don't know what else you can do, buddy. You are definitely Two having times. some issues. Okay, one down. Can we knock another down? Alright, so she did that. Can she walk up and, like, just help? Alright, I'm gonna go with this. And maybe... And maybe she can't do that one. Maybe she can cast this again. Oh dear. Alright, kitty. Prepare to fall face first into oblivion. I don't I don't know if that's gonna work. Alright, Shoti, take him on. I know you got this. All right, got some Gibbs going, yeah. Shoji's having a little bit of a bad time. It's all right. With pleasure. 
Mm -hmm. Oh. Got you now. Got him. Did I bring you back? I'm just curious. Oh, I can. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know whether or not we could bring him back. Well, there we go. We we survived the battle. Nobody got any injuries, and we're looking pretty solid. I'm I'm relatively happy with this. Don't stand next to the gunpowder barrel. Seems like a bad idea. Though it does look like tactically, that might be a cool skill or um, just thing to use. Be able to bring uh, enemies near the barrels and then blow them up. Maybe. Alright, there's an arena sub level. There's a dude over here. There's the foreman's quarters. I think maybe we'll start there. And then we'll see where else we need to go. I'm fairly sure that we have uncovered everything, except this little area here. What are these footprints are there? Oh, or is this whole thing his footprint? Hmm. Seems interesting. Alright, well, let's go to, like I said, the foreman's quarters. Let's go there. Seems the most likely safish smartest place to start maybe before we go into ancient horrible ruins that are going to murder our souls quite literally possibly just saying just saying okay where are we going now oh we're in the room Nothing really seems to be jumping out at me. Oh. I see a soul in it. There's a cave beetle. Ready for reaping. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Alright. Bell hurt yet. Get in there. Save the Reapus. Kill them all. Or just stand. I feel like our wolf did nothing. Take that. I'm going to read this. One of the workers dug up this old Audra medallion in the sub-level yesterday. I doubt Odorisi would be interested in it. And besides, it looks like it's worth something. Might be nice to surprise the crew with a bonus. True. I'll take care of it. Crew working hard to get stuff done and then you just don't give them anything? That's kind of cool. Uncool. It's kind of an uncool thing. A little bit cruel, I dare say. Alright. Foreman's quarters not gonna lie not gonna lie um arena sub level or oh, the luminous audra pool I, I guess we'll go with the arena seems super dangerous like a really bad plan let's try it they will probably break off the episode once we load into this and see what's here if we get immediately thrown into something we won't but yeah, once we load in, we'll see what's going on, and then, yeah, I think I'll break it off, and in the next episode, we'll continue to explore the random things that we've come across so far. The Adra pool, the training hall, and then, of course, the arena sub-level that we're going into right now. Those are some weird-looking statues, but that's fine. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, that's going to do it for this episode, and... Yeah, look uh, look around here tomorrow, and there should be another episode laying around somewhere. It'll be good, or bad, depending. Anyway, folks, until the very next episode, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.